In this mini-series, I'm trying to get all the items ready for my necromancy journey on August 7. In episode 1, we made good progress with a little bit of starter cash. However, in this episode, we encountered a bit of a roadblock. Right, I just logged in. It sold for 105k, so we have 3.3 mil. I'm going to be doing my shop runs. I'm not going to be showing you it. We're going to try to make some dino arrows and see how good it actually is. To see if we can convert this 2,000 into some actual decent money. I'm pretty sure that should transfer into like five or six mil or something. And I'm very curious to see how long it will take. One thing I absolutely forgot in the first episode was to buy the packs here in Ugloop. By the way, same with the Red Sandstone. You need to have the as a first resort, which is a horrible quest, by the way. Just to show you how expensive it is. We'll probably see all of this later once we get everything. That's just 600k like that. It's very easy and it cost me 50k i started with about three mil in cash obviously you have 363 left and in total yeah we made three more profit in about 10 minutes easy money and plants might be changing but um i will i'll be talking about that once uh once the plants are set in stone because we're discussing some strats i might actually not be buying the mage setup and be going for a range setup but i'll report back to you once we figured it out yet again if you want to join these discussions join the twitch channel link in the description stream this every single day all right we're at 6.5 million million gp and i'm not going to be buying it right now but i'm just looking at sirenic because that would be good for next let's call it four mil let's call it two and a half so that's 6.5 and 1.2 three so that's 7.8 mil for an entire set that's what we nearly got and what i'm going to be doing now is creating these animal big arrows see how much money we have and then continue on with whatever plan we will come up with which is probably going to be going to next with a duo partner who will match the gear if you never created these arrows from scratch, then you're in for a treat because this is actually quite funny. You collect these eggs. Once you gathered an entire inventory of eggs, you go to this incubator and you get sharp shell shards to make the base arrows, which eventually I will tip with the enema of big. But there are some other steps that we need to do. But this is one of these steps, actually. And you could just drop all the bad eggs. You can destroy and destroy all of them. But yeah, we need to create about pretty much 2300 of these. Wait, where do you see an unchecked dino? <sighs> I have an unchecked dino, which is 600. Dude, I just made 600k. If that sells for like 600k, that is sick. Yeah, okay. This might have actually been a good uh, good idea to actually do so. Okay, cool. Let's see how many unchecked dinos we can get as well. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie, right? Like, this is one of those updates that introducing god arrows was a really good idea because they gave some use to the anima from the Elder God Burst Dungeon. Like, a great idea. But I think the way they've done it with collecting the eggs, having to st style the hair... And actually, the shit as well that's coming on later on, like, literally. I think it's just funny, and I think it's just a great testament of, like... This is, like, peak RuneScape humor to me. Wait, so I need more arrows. Wait, if I use 45 bigs on 15 arrows... Wait, so I need a third of it. So I only need, like, 800, 900, kind of. Chef mouse. It's, it's becoming a thing, bro. You can, you can start to see that I, um... Uh, I've been dropping that I drop maps. Anyway, uh, next to the next thing where we're gonna cut some hair to be able to get our next component, which is the shot. However, I just learned from chat that I just need a third of what I currently have, which is only like 900. I don't need a thousand. So that will save me on some time, I guess. Okay, I'm quickly gonna go back to eggs because apparently you need three times the amount of big things to be able to uh make the actual arrow so i'm gonna get make 1500 of them so i need 1500 of these shards as well oh dude we we got a zygomite of 200k as well so it is a dinosaur and the zygomite we nearly made a mill as well oh oh this is money okay cool we got our shards we got our shaft wait can i can i tip no 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 i need i need to i need the last bit which is uh collecting poop if you're wondering what that is i'll show you well here the uh dinos that you made you need to feed by these troughs and they all have like a simple thing but you just pretty much make around and then just fill them once they're filled they'll explode and they'll leave around poop and that poop is used to make arrows i'll show you if you click on the dinos by the way you can actually see uh which food they want if you hover over it, you can see like how much they've eaten before. It's it's actually it's it's very well made in my opinion, and I think it's quite funny. But yeah, you just click on it, you just wait, and uh, you feed them, and then you get this the ignite pottering blend. And when you do so, which is literally their poop, you will get the rest to make your arrows. It's very typical RuneScape, and I love it. Funnily enough, this is actually a decent experience. I mean, it's very very click intensive, but I mean you get one thousand like this inventory took me like 
three minutes to do or something and you get quite a bit of experience of it and you make money even just selling these would just be good money because they go for 2.1k each still profit to make the actual arrows we we, we made an interesting discovery when it comes to this kind of stuff so if you want to create one set of arrows right it will cost you this amount because obviously arrows go by 15 so it is about 64k to make like headless arrows, headless dino arrows, right? And a set of headlo headless dino arrows is going for 61k. And if I remove that, that is 3k loss already. Okay, cool. But what if you turn them into big arrows? Well, you also lose money. So it's actually better to sell the resources if they sell for this price over actually creating the arrows. Interesting stuff. See, this is why we do this series. Okay. So, see, these are not even into selling at the price they're saying at, nor are those to be fair, but those are not even the biggest amount of profit. What if we do minus 5%? Will they sell? They do. So let's go into the history and see how much they actually are. All right, so the headless arrows sold for 3K each, but the dino arrows sold for 4.1. The big arrows sold for 3.8, so that would have been lost anyway. But the propellant is 2.2 plus, let's call it 400. That is 2.6, 4.7K each. So that was definitely worth. And it brings us to 15 million GP. We're just short of buying everything that we need to go to next, but we're only one shop run or daily runoff actually doing pvm so today of just making poop arrows and shop runs we made 12 million gp and i think tomorrow if everything goes right and we can buy everything to go to next we will actually be making a lot more money at least fingers crossed we will because if we get unlucky we might have a little issue but we'll be able to solve that also I'm, I'm talking about 12 mil right but i haven't even sold these yeah we actually well still we're probably closer to 13 mil made today but that's a good amount let's see if we can fight next tomorrow another shop run done it's another 7 mil right there bringing us to around 19 mil let's sell everything oh yeah it's day three yeah we have 20 mil gp i'm gonna be buying some gear and i should be showing you what we have planned we got a serenic sorted and we still have 13 million gp left over let's get our weapons done okay next up is a chaotic crossbow i do have the charm but if you want to get them you can do some farming of charms by uh, farm charming runs and it's like 100 to 200k charms an hour so literally all i'm doing is just skipping out on those two hours i have the offhand in my bank I'm gonna do some simple perks on it that's um about like two mil from the total because i am gonna be you know spending some money on it so i guess that's two mil gone as well Okay, our ammunition, ruby, the criminal bolts, enchanted, and diamond ones. I said it in the other way around. But that is our current gear to actually do damage. We still need perks, we still need the necklace, and we still need the ring. So when it comes to the amulet, we're going to go for the good old trusty amulet of fury for a 30 bonus in every single style. And leviathan ring, which um, has a very interesting effect. When damaged, 2% chance, 5% of superior, obviously we don't have it, to half the incoming damage. I mean, it costs 300k, so it's definitely worth. Next up is a range cape, because we need a cape and it's 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 a good cape. That gives 21 and all bonuses and it's only 100k. All right, Armada's Book of Law is from a quest, which is an untradeable, which means another 500k needs to be withdrawn so it's 2.5 mil um needs to be redrawn from the cash stack uh this is the total of like the untradeables that we're claiming back which i'll be giving away on stream make a description by the way this is about our gear so when it comes to the food we'll be using sharks to just bought 500 of them i do have to mill a bank but we're never going to use 500 of them 100 teradome bruise yet again after my bank as well same with the power burst uh that will come down to some money as well which is nice we actually make some money back that is dinosaur height gloves and ranger boots which i thought i would absolutely never use for our glove and boot slot we'll be using a sharpshooter aura and we will be spending one and a half million gp that on 10 holy overloads i set myself a flat price of 150k because the wiki is saying 150k for holy overloads so that means 1.5 mil plus or 2.5 mil comes down to 4 mil in all untradeable stuff and in this case holy overload leaving us with 4 million gp all right we're making two ancient weapon gizmos which are going for 350k each pretty much um so that's another 700k gone from the money stack this giveaway is gonna be nice baby we're gonna do hide and seek for it by the way that's usually how we give away things on the chef live stream for one of this which um will get us precise precise four. Oh, we can't get away with that we, we need to make another one. Oh, that's even worse oh my lord oh no oh no oh no okay let's let's give it let's give it another whirl oh my brother nah you you can't be doing me like this bro i need to withdraw another 700k for my pouch because i 350k for one of them and 350k for not that, that there will definitely not be any perks on the armor 
Oh, nah, you can't be doing me like this game. Come on, man. Not during this series. You can't. You can't. You literally cannot. Side six. Let's go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, no, no. You do me good. All right. We're making another ancient weapon gizmo. Because we're going to go for equilibrium four on the offhand. Come on. Even three would be good. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. We got the weapon perk sorted now. We're going to augment the KO the crossbow. Yes. We're going to augment the offhand. Oh, that's already augmented. Never mind. Equilibrium is going to go on the offhand. And the precise is going to go on the main hand. I don't think I have enough for gear. Okay, so my chat bullied me into doing a divination stream, which is uh, needed because we need 72 divine charges to be able to augment our ceramic. And that is very important because as soon as we start using it, it starts degrading. And that means that one, we can't augment it anymore. And if we want to repair it, we need a new set of Cyrenics that will send us back another four or five mail. So I think it will actually be worth doing divination at inc incandescent essence, which is going to be good. I'm going to be giving away that money as well with a uh, hide and seek. But yes, this is the gear. We can't use it yet. Shout out to Insanity for winning our giveaway. Uh, apparently I was in the instant area, but they, they, they guessed it. So that's fine. We're not going to be doing some divination. I'm actually going to be using a good setup for it as well. So let's do so. I need a nightmare muspa. Oh, they're not that expensive. Okay, we're going to be using that and the aura and that's chill. All right, we're going to use the legendary Richmond Air energy, nightmare muspa pouch and on the world, the actual divination world. What the hell is that, bro? Anyway, there's always like, there's usually one of these enriched ones, which give a lot more experience and a lot more energies we have to do this until we can make 72 divine energies which will be uh which will be nice which we will need to make uh our serenic augmented and so we can pbm i think it's a more simple part but i do have the amount of s to be able to make all the divine charges so i'll just have to get the parts order but i'm gonna finish my aura for another 20 minutes and probably of the money that we make off the essence that we have left over we will be able to get our components sorted and then augment our ceramic been an hour of divination which would made me 6.8 mil probably 7 mil because i had to have a little break in between still i made like 2.5 mil profit which is really really nice we're going to be using this to make divine charges and to eventually also upgrade my ceramic which we'll do tomorrow because day three it's now over we, we kind of are low on money but we made gear so Good stuff.